You guys must have spent a fortune on the TVs in this place. You all done? You tell me. Now you're learning. I have to admit I was worried whether we'd be able to keep you here after you woke up in medical. You gave our staff a run for its money. Maybe it's their training that's in question, not mine. Fair enough. It'll be a good excuse to up the morning drills around here. Looks like you did well on the tech portion of the test. Very well. Past Darcy's bitching, there's some real compliments in here if you look at the numbers. Mina's report says you might need more practice on the gun range, but you're probably still shaking off the drugs we gave you. Evaluate me out in the field, not on the practice range. I'll get the job done. All right, we'll see. You certainly got the attitude for it. And here's a surprise. A positive evaluation from Parker. On the number side as usual. But he actually took the time to write a sentence. He did? Uh... What was the sentence? You may have been right about this one, Westridge. For Parker, that's high praise. Assuming you don't let us down, Mike. Looks like that's it for the physical evaluation. Now for the hard part. Tell me why you're here. Not everyone gets chosen for this line of work, but you volunteered. Usually, we have to ask. You ever had an intern position at a government agency? I have. Need I say more? All my exercise was moving papers from desk to desk. I'm here to do work, not sit back and manage it. I want to be out where the action is. I want to make a difference. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here, and you're not convincing me. I'm ready, and I'm tired of my questions getting answered by more questions. Welcome to our world, Mike. My job is to help you cut through questions and get an answer. Beyond the guns, tech, and sneaking around in the dark, there's one last part of this job that nobody else here quite gets. I'm listening. Good. Because listening is a large part of it. The way you talk to people, your attitude. That's what we're gonna discuss now. If you're telling me I have an attitude problem, then you could have read that in my file. No, believe it or not, you're not here because you're a people person. You're here because your psych profile says you're skilled at manipulating others. Was that a compliment? You'll see. The way you project yourself definitely affects what people think of you, and your reputation with them. <laughs> what do I care what others think? You shouldn't. Having a bad or good rep with someone can actually gain you different benefits. Sometimes you want to piss someone off so they can't think straight. Other times you want to build a strong rapport with someone and talk your way out of a bad situation. All depends on your objective. This goes for your handlers as well. We're going to be sending you into a lot of dangerous places, and your only backup is going to be who you're talking to on your headset. How you treat them is going to have an effect on the success of your mission. So if I piss them off, I'm screwed? No. A handler that likes you too much and puts emotions before the mission can be just as dangerous as one who resents you. This is a long way of telling me that I should just act the way I want. I don't have time to chat when there's work to be done, and it sounds like it'll just leave me vulnerable if I go down the wrong road. No, again, there are no bad choices, just results. Over time, folks may hear about you and your attitude before they meet you. They may have a preconceived notion of how you're going to treat them, which can affect their reaction. Well, maybe they should take the time to know the real me. If only. Time something no one seems to be able to spare, especially doing a conversation. Although that can be a plus. I don't see how. The clock doesn't stop when you're speaking to someone. So if you need to get your second win before a fight, making small talk can buy you time. But if I'm running on adrenaline, won't chatting take me off my guard? It can. So if you need to get to the point, act instead of fight. For example, if you don't think I have any more to teach you, then you could just say, I'm done with this. I wouldn't think any less of you. You seem to have the basics down. Why wouldn't I just shoot someone instead of talking to them? Sometimes it is better if you shoot first. Still approaching someone to talk to them can allow you to get the drop on them if you get close enough to strike. Use it if you have to, if the conversation isn't going your way. Assuming there's even a way you want the conversation to go. So how do I know what provokes someone? I'd rather rattle them if I can. If that's what you want to do, pay attention to the clues in your environment. Sometimes people will have advice, and intel can help. But there's another way. Read much? Mostly weapon manuals. Then I make sure I actually test it myself. The specs are sometimes off. There's a host of information out there through dossiers, email, and other documents that represent total research others have collected on a target, organization, or operation. And what does that get me, exactly? 
Sometimes you'll spot obvious triggers. People who don't respond well to smart asses like me. Others who respect loyalty, duty, a professional approach. Others who don't have time for bullshit and like it when you get to the point. But dossiers just don't contain psych information. They'll usually have combat information on your target as well. What side they favor, any past injuries, common weapons or tactics they use. Some of it blunt, some of it subtle. But if push comes to shove, it can give you an edge in combat. The more you've done your homework, the more vulnerable they'll be. Makes sense to me. I'd rather get a firefight over with as quickly as possible. Amen to that. Our records are complete, so use them when you have downtime. You have dossiers on everyone here? Yep, if you can dig them up. You might learn a few things. Sometimes reading a dossier will give you more options when dealing with others. A few facts to bring up, to shake secrets loose. What about you? You should already know what makes me happy, Mike. And what pisses me off. At what point can I start accessing personnel records and conducting surveillance? After meeting a target or hearing their name referenced by someone else, you should have a target ID. Then hop onto the database and start doing your homework. You can usually unlock their basic information at that point. Let's start with a simple one. al Samad. That should be familiar to you. The terrorist group. Yes, you can research groups as well as people. It doesn't carry the same benefits, but it can provide useful intel in the field. Talking to people about others is a good way to help gain dossier information. Sometimes people will have information on someone that can unlock a brand new thread in your computer search. Okay, so I've suffered through your interrogation. and know how to give one if need be. Am I ready or not? We'll see. Meet me in the command center, and I can give you a proper mission briefing. Good. Because I'm sick of this room. Trust me, Mike. If it was up to me, you'd never see this interrogation cell again. Recognize him? That Sheikh Ali Shaheed, the voice of Al Samad. They say he was responsible for shooting down that airliner in the Middle East. Yeah, he got his hands on some prototype Halbeck technology. A missile with a multi stage targeting system called Jacob's Ladder. That airliner was his first target. Specs and shadiness of this whole thing aside, how did Shaheed get his hands on that missile? Missiles. He's got more. He stole them from Halbeck, and we need them back before he gets any more trigger happy. Then we want you to kill him. About time I'm getting tired of this place. All right, then. Pack your gear. You're heading to Saudi Arabia. Not coming with me? I'll be there in spirit. And on video and radio when needed, Agent. And I just got here. Ah, oh, well. I'm gonna miss this place. I doubt it. I'll contact you when you reach Saudi Arabia. Care to explain how Halbeck lost its missiles? Old news. An accounting error. The missiles. You didn't lose them, did you? Angry, Mr. Thornton? Because of what happened in Saudi Arabia?
can you read me? I'm getting lots of interference. Reading you loud and clear. Where can I find Shahid? It's a little more complicated than that. It's gonna require some groundwork and lots of it. Good to see you're eager to get started. Finding Shahid is your primary objective. Trouble is, we don't know his location, but we have three leads. An arms dealer, Nasri, is believed to have sold the missiles to Shahid, and he's currently operating in Saudi Arabia. If you can intercept him, maybe he can tell you where Shahid is, or guide you to the missiles. Got it. What's the next lead? We also tracked down the location of an airfield Shahid used in the past. If you can sneak in and plant a listening device, we may be able to track flight Shahid is using to move through Saudi Arabia. And the third lead? We've got the coordinates of an al Samad detention camp, also used as a stockpile for weapons. We suspect the missiles may be stored there. Why are we playing around? Why not send in the troops and storm the place? We need to make sure the missiles aren't armed. If they are, our aerial assault will be one of the shortest flights in history. We'll want you to go in alone, recon the area, and shut down their radar and communications. Once that's down, we can call in air support and hit the camp hard. No pressure. And no backup. Get used to it. It's the job. You check out your new home yet? It's got some perks you might be interested in. Anything beyond the weapons locker? Thought that might hold your attention. It did? Anything else? A computer with a hub connection so fast you'll feel like you're going back in time. What, to the Stone Age? Please. You can do dossier research, encrypted emails, and if need be, access some of the weapons dealers in the area. That'll be done on your own dime, however, using whatever funds you can find in Saudi Arabia. So if I need a resupply, I'll need to steal money and then contact a dealer myself? We don't want you using the Alpha Protocol accounts with rival terrorists or weapons dealers. That has a habit of getting back to us. And then Congress calls. The weapons locker you already found? Help yourself to what's inside. Just be sure to choose the ammo and armor you think suits the mission. When you're ready to head out, just use the front door, or access the missions from the main terminal. I'll have already uploaded all the mission specs to your PDA. You can review them at any time. Alright, so... is that it? Westridge. Great. Home sweet home.